Welcome back to Cash Budget Insights, where I'm working on seeing if this whole cash budgeting thing really works. I'm personally tracking every dollar using a zero-based budget due to my daughter's chronic illness, as well as controlling some of my own emotional impulse spending on the really hard days. I would love to have you give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. That's a free way to throw a little support my way and help this channel grow. If you haven't heard it today, I want you to know you're awesome, you're valuable, and you have a purpose. Now let's dive in. Well, today's going to be a little bit of a different video. It's kind of an impromptu video. I was actually getting ready to uh, take my online spending reconciliation money back to the bank, and I thought, you know what? Before I do that, I should cash condense some of my savings challenges and my other envelopes because I had some bigger bills in here and just kind of see if I can consolidate my envelopes. I also wanted to... Let you guys know that when I was checking over my online spending worksheet, I realized that I did forget to fix some of my I IOUs. I had two different IOUs. One of them was for pharmacy, which I took care of um, and basically wiped out my pharmacy envelope, which was unfortunate. And the other one I just owed out to eat money which of $25. So I did include that um, in my deposit that's going to go back to the bank. So all my envelopes now Shouldn't have any more IOUs, so that's really great. Um, except, of course, the two that we talked about in my last video. I do owe 105 for grocery, and I also owe $11 for my kids. But for those two categories, I'm still going to cash stuff the last week of January. So I'm just going to leave those amounts in the bank and just put less cash in each of those envelopes. But I'm very excited to condense some of my, specifically my savings envelopes, they are getting really bulky because I save with a lot of dollar bills. <laughs> and I apologize if it's a little shadowy in the video. Um, I'm recording this in the evening, so I apologize about that. But there's just not a whole lot I can do about it. So um, for our grumpy cat, we only have 25, so we can't do anything there. But I'm hoping one of these... Oh, you know what? I was watching this video back, and I forgot to color in some of my penguin feet. Let me count just to make sure. I think I forgot to color in two of them. Okay, let's see what we have here. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So I've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, that's what I thought. That's another reason. I was like, I think I have some things I need to tidy up in here. So I will just color these two in really quick. I was editing that video and I was like, I didn't color in two of my penguin feet. Okay, so we have 23, so we will do 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, and we will grab a 20. Gosh, is there a better one? Let's grab this one. I don't have my money organized very well here. I also had to do a placeholder for my medical, so I went and grabbed those. So let me divvy this up really quick so it's a little easier to manipulate the bills. Okay, and fives, a lot of fives. Okay, this will be great because I can get rid of some of the bulk in my envelopes. All right, so this 20 is gonna go back because it's janky. And we've got 23 and I fixed my penguin feet. So that is good. All right, let's see what we can do with this one. So we have 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So we could do five. Let's go ahead and do a 10. I don't have a lot of 10s, but we'll go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, so that'll give us the 31 in here for our Fox challenge. And then even odds, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, and then 20. So let's go ahead and do the 20. and try to find a good one because I've got some rough ones that I can at least send back to the bank. And then one, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and get a good five. Beautiful. Okay, so that takes care of our even odd. 
All right, next we have the Don't Let the Muggles Get You Down. So we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Well, I think we're going to trade out some of these janky ones. So let's put three of those back and we'll get one, two, three. Okay, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Okay, perfect. All right, so we'll leave that one like it is. Okay, then the office. I think this one I already had. So yeah, 10, 20. So we can do the 20. And I think, I think I'll leave the two fives because I don't have a lot of tens in case another envelope needs those. Okay, so we'll put the office one away. That one's good. Um, a pretzel. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, perfect. So we have 20. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so we will get this put away. Oh my goodness, this is such a wonderful feeling to condense these and have my envelopes not bursting because we still have a ways to go filling these up. Shroot Farms, <laughs> the one I'm a dollar, a dollar short on. Oh goodness, there we go. All right, so we have five, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So let's go ahead and get our $20 for this. Okay, that one looks good. And then we have $9 here. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I think I will go ahead and do that. Okay, there we go. $29. This guy will be finished pretty soon. Get him in there. Okay. Our llama slash alpaca. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, oh, this one is good. We just have, it looks like 27 in there. So there's nothing we can do for that one. And what do we have here? We have 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So let's go ahead and get a 20 here. There we go. And grab us a 20 and we'll put our 10 back okay perfect and this is for the northern lights challenge all right and then lastly we have the dine and save I don't know how much yeah there's only eight in here so that one can wait I just started this one so that one is good to go okay so that's that folder and then let me take a peek in here because this one is feeling pretty stuffed as well. So car insurance, 20, 40, 65. Okay, can't do anything there. That one is pretty condensed. And what's going on in here? Okay, I've got 20, 40, 5, 50. Okay, so we can do 20, 40, 50. Okay, so 20, 40, and we will get back a 50. And then this one I actually borrowed money from, so I need to put $2 back in here. So let me go ahead and grab one and two, I guess. These are all a little crusty, but money's money. So, okay, so then that is all set in there. Okay, then car maintenance. Let's see what we have in here. 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Can't really do anything for that. I haven't checked my white binder in quite some time because I don't add to this all the time. So I really didn't quite know what was in here. Um, 20, 45, 6. So we can't do anything there. Most of these are pretty well consolidated. Dental. Okay, we have 100 and 10, 15, 16. I'm going to trade out this one because that is crump crumply. So that one is good for now. We'll leave dental alone. That is going to be, oh, I've got big plans for 
the dentist in this coming month. Um, these I think I'll just have five. Vision, we have 20, 30, 41. Bummer. Uh, let's see. Do I want to consolidate? Yes, I will. I will consolidate this. So we'll do two fives and a 10 for a 20. And then our wrinkly one for a better one. <laughs> there we go. All right, so vision is good. I am going to need some new contacts pretty soon. Um, let's see what Sam's Club looks like. 20, 25, 30, 35. Oh my goodness, let me do this over. <laughs> 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, so we can do 5, 10, 15, 20 right here. And we will grab a 20. Okay. So that takes care of Sam's Club. I did these new envelopes. I really, really like them. These are, they remind me of Epcot, which I love Epcot. And these are um, just our subscriptions. I went ahead and broke those up into separate envelopes um, because I realized I didn't really like having all of my subscriptions just in one envelope. So I went ahead and divvied those up and I really liked the way they turned out. All right, I only have a few more left, so we might as well just go through them all. All right, so for clothing, let's see, I just took quite a bit out of this one. Yeah, we only have 52 in there, so that one is good to go. Groomer, yeah, we only have 30 in there. Haircuts, this one I might be able to consolidate. Let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80. One, two, three, four, five. I will get a five. Oof, these fives are gross. Okay, we'll just do this one. All right, so that is as much as I can do for that. All right, home goods. Let's see. We have 20, 25, 30. Okay, yep, can't do anything there. 32 in home goods. So that one is good my medical is good i know because we just did these the other day pharmacy i have nothing in which is so disappointing um we have 100 20 40 60 80 100 i'm gonna leave 20s in here though because we usually tip and stuff and it's nice to have smaller bills in here actually so i don't want to just have be stuck with like a hundred dollar bill so that one is good and then i am gonna look oh no it was my holiday binder I wanted to look in. I don't think I have much in here. Let's see, 20, 40, so 50s. We can grab 100 for that. So we have 140 in this one, which I'll be spending this week for my birthday. That's in January. Looks like we have 23, so that one's good for New Year's. We have 21 for Valentine's Day. Easter is at 19. July 4th is 29. Um, let me see. It looks like I owe. Oh, I must have borrowed a 10 out of here. So let me put that back. There we go. Okay. And then Halloween, I've got 25. Thanksgiving's 25. I just know right away that I won't be able to consolidate these. Um, 150 in Christmas. Father's Day, we have 35. And Mother's Day is 50. So, can't really consolidate those at all. And then I am just going to do a quick flip through my wallet. While I have cash to go back to the bank anyway. So, let me see what we have for household. 5, 10, 15. Okay, so we could do a 10. All right, there's that one. Okay, kids is empty. Miscellaneous, I've got, yeah, 23. So that one is good. And then out to eat is just 20. And then gas. So, okay, everything is consolidated. That is such a wonderful feeling. I've got all my IOUs taken care of. I had moved some money around to different envelopes. Um, so I had to reimburse that. So that worked out really well before I got this back to the bank.
that's a really great strategy is anytime that you do any kind of reconciliation where you're putting money back to the bank, take a second to go through your envelopes and, you know, swap out some bills, get rid of some crusty bills and, you know, consolidate your envelopes a little bit. It just makes it a little bit easier in my opinion. Um, especially if you're doing savings challenges, I notice I accumulate a lot of low denominations and they really bulk up the envelopes. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this consolidation. It was kind of impromptu. I didn't really have it planned. I sat down to do it and thought, hey, I might as well record it. So hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. And it shows.